set before us. It is of the Lord's mercies that we were not consumed, because his compassions fail not. Deal, dearly beloved brethren, the scripture moveth us in sundry places to acknowledge and confess our manifold sins and wickedness, and that we should not dissemble nor cloak them before the face of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, but confess them with an humble, lowly, penitent, and obedient heart, to the end that we may obtain forgiveness of the same by his infinite goodness and mercy. And although we ought at all times humbly to acknowledge our sins before God, yet ought we most chiefly so to do when we assemble and meet together to render thanks for the great benefits that we have received at his hands, to set forth his most worthy praise, to hear his most holy word, and to ask those things which are requisite and necessary, as well for the body as the soul. Wherefore I pray and beseech you, as many as are here present, to accompany me with a pure heart and humble voice unto the throne of the heavenly grace. Spirit. 
The first lesson is taken from the fourth book of Moses called Numbers, the 16th chapter, beginning at the first verse. Now Korah, the son of Izar, the son of Kohath, the son of Elam, and Dathan and Abiram, the sons of Elam, and On, the sons of Peleth, sons of Reuben, took men, and they rose up before Moses, with certain of the children of Israel, 250 princes of the assembly, famous in the congregation men of renown. And they gathered themselves together against Moses and against Aaron, and said unto them, Ye take too much upon you, seeing all the congregation are holy, every one of them, and the Lord is among them. Wherefore then lift ye up yourselves above the congregation of the Lord? And when Moses heard it, he fell upon his face. And he saith unto Korah and unto all his company, saying, Even tomorrow the Lord will show who are his and who is holy, and will cause him to come near unto him, even him whom he hath chosen that will cause to come near unto him. This do, take your censers, Korah, and all his company, and put fire therein, and put incense in them before the Lord tomorrow. And 
it shall be that the man whom the Lord doth choose, he shall be holy. Ye take too much upon you, ye, ye sons of Levi. And Moses said unto Korah, Here I pray you, ye sons of Levi, seemeth it but a small thing unto you, that the, the God of Israel hath separated you from the congregation of Israel, to bring you near to himself to do the service of the tabernacle of the Lord, and to stand before the congregation to minister unto them. And he hath brought thee nearer to him, and all thy brethren, the sons of Levi, with thee. And seek ye the priesthood also? For which cause both thou and all thy company are gathered together against the Lord? And what is Aaron, that ye murmur against him? And Moses sent to call Dathan and Abira, the sons of Eliab, which said, We will not come up. It is a small thing that thou hast brought us up, up out of a land of flour of the milk and honey, to kill us in the wilderness, except thou make thyself altogether a prince over us. Moreover, brought us into a land that floweth with milk and honey, or given us inheritance of fields and vineyards, wilt thou put out the eyes of these men? We will not come up. And Moses was very wroth, and said unto the Lord, Respect not, not, not thou their offering? I have not taken one ass from them, neither have I hurt one of them. And Moses said unto Korah, Be thou and all thy company before the Lord, thou and they and Aaron, tomorrow. And take every man his censer, and put incense in them, and bring me before the Lord every man his censer, two hundred and fifty censers. Thou also and Aaron, each of you his censer. And they took every man his censer, and put fire in them, and laid incense in thereon, and stood in the door of the tabernacle of the congregation with Moses and Aaron. And Korah gave the congregation against them unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and the glory of the Lord appeared unto all the congregation. And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, Separate yourselves from among this congregation, that I may consume them in a moment. And they fell upon their faces and said, O God, the God of the spirits of all flesh, shall one man sin, and wilt thou be wroth with all the congregation? The Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the congregation, saying, Get you up from about the tabernacle of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram. And Moses rose up and went up unto Dathan and Abiram, and the elders of Israel followed him. And he spake unto the congregation, saying, Depart, I pray you, from the tents of these wicked men, and touch nothing of theirs, lest ye be consumed in all their sins. So they got up from the tabernacle of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram, on every side. And Dathan and Abiram came out, and stood in the door of their tents, and their wives, and their sons, and their little children. And Moses said, Hereby ye shall know that the Lord hath sent me to do all these works, for I have not done them of mine own mind. If these men die the common death of all men, and be visited after the visitation of all men, then the Lord hath not sent me. But if the Lord make a new thing, and the earth open up her mouth, and swallow them up, with all that appertain unto them, and they go down quickly into the pit, then ye shall understand that these men have provoked the Lord. And it came to pass, as he had made an end of all these words, that the ground clave asunder and was under them, that was under them. And the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up, and their houses, and all the men that have appertained, appertained unto Korah, and all their goods. They, and all that appertained to them, went down alive into the pit, and the earth closed up upon them, and they perished from among the congregation. And all Israel that were round about them fled at the cry of them, for they, for they said, Lest the earth swallow us up also. And there came out a fire from the Lord, and consumed the two hundred and fifty men that offered incense. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Eleazar the son of Aaron the priest, that he take up the censers out of the burning, and scatter thou the fire yonder, for they are hallowed. The censers of these sinners against their own souls, let them, make, let them make them broad plates for a covering of the altar, 
for they offered them before the Lord. Therefore they are hallowed, and they shall be a sign unto the children of Israel. And Eleazar the priest took the brazen censers, wherewith they that were burnt had offered, and they were made broad plates for a covering of the altar, to be a memorial unto the children of Israel, that no stranger, which is not the seed of Aaron, come near to offer incense before the Lord, that he be not as Korah and, and as his company, as the Lord said, said to him by the hand of Moses. But on the morrow all the congregation of the children of Israel murmured against Moses and Aaron, saying, Ye have killed the people of the Lord. And it came to pass, when the congregation was gathered against Moses and against Aaron, that they looked towards the tabernacle of the congregation, and behold, the cloud covered it, and the glory of the Lord appeared. And Moses and Aaron came before the tabernacle of the congregation. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Congregation, that I may consume them as in a moment. And they fell upon their faces. And Moses said unto Aaron, Take a censer, and put fire therein from off the altar, and put on incense, and go quickly unto the congregation, and make an atonement for them. For there is wrath gone out from the Lord. Begun. And Aaron took, took as Moses commanded, and ran into the midst of the congregation, and behold, the plague was begun among the people. And he put on incense, and made an atonement for the people. And he stood between the dead and the living, and the plague was stayed. Now they that died in the plague were fourteen thousand and seven hundred, beside them that died about the matter of Korah. And Aaron returned unto Moses unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and the plague was stayed. Here endeth the lesson.
second lesson is the general epistle of Jude. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James, to them that are sanctified by God the Father and preserved in Jesus Christ and called, mercy unto you and peace and love be multiplied. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needed for me to write and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. For there are certain men crept, into un crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of our, of our God into the lasciviousness and denying the only, the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though, though ye once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believed not. And the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he hath reserved in everlasting chains under the darkness, under darkness unto the dungeon of the great day, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner giving themselves over to fornication, and going after strange flesh, and are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities. Yet Michael the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, durst not bring up against him a railing accusation, but said, the Lord rebuke thee. But these speak evil of those things which they know not, but what they know naturally, as brute beasts, in those things that they corrupt themselves. Woe unto them, for they have gone in the way of Cain, and ran greedily after the error of Balaam for reward, and perished in the gainsaying of Kor. These are spots in your feasts of, of charity, when they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear. Clouds they are without water, carried about with winds, trees whose fruit withereth, without fruit, twice dead, plucked up by the roots, raging waves of the sea, foaming out their own shame, wandering stars to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of thee, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of the saints to execute judgment upon all, and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed, and of all their hearts ungodly sinners have spoken against thee. These are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lusts, and, and their mouth speaketh great swelling words, having men's persons in admiration because of advantage. But, beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before of the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ, how that they told you that there should be mockers in the last time, who should walk after their own ungodly lusts. These be they who separate themselves, sensual, having not the Spirit. But ye, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ, unto everlasting life. And if some have compassion, making a difference, and others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garments spotted by the flesh, now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy, to the only wise God our Savior be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen. Here ended the second lesson.
infinitely more powerful than a typical incense of error, interposed between the living and the dead. And we are full in perfect atonement, ever acceptable with thee, that the plague may be stayed. O let us live, and we will praise thy name, and all these thy judgments shall teach us to look every man into the plague of his own heart. That being cleansed from all sins, all our sins, we may serve thee with pure hearts all our days, perfecting holiness in thy fear, till we come at last where there is no more sickness nor death, through thy tender mercies to him alone, who is our life and our health and our salvation, Jesus Christ, our ever blessed Savior and Redeemer. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace this time and one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and has promised that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, I will grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost, be with us all.